Dr. Kartik, can you tell us about the complications of sinus surgery? Yeah, so there are many complications about sinus surgery. So we'll start from the basic ones. Uh, first intraoperative complication is bleeding. Okay, so to in, in a sinus surgery, there can be extensive bleeding. To prevent it, we need to take certain precautions like prepare the patient preoperatively, adequate decongestion, uh, they have to use steroid sprays. We should know the anatomy properly, like where the vessels are. If we, if we don't damage those vessels, we can avoid the bleeding and decrease it to a certain extent. Okay. Other than bleeding, uh, there are complications of injury to important structures. So, when we are operating in the sinuses, we are surrounded by anatomically important structures. Like for example, eyeball. Both the sides of the eyeball is laterally placed to the sinuses. And superiorly, if we see, we have the dura, dura in the brain. Okay. So, injury to the eye or to the muscle can cause diplopia. Diplopia means double vision. A patient can have double vision. It can, if it, it, it is an extensive injury or if it is in the posterior part of the orbit, patient can have vision problems. Patient can have blindness if it's a direct injury to the nerve, the optic nerve. Okay, and uh, if superiorly there is any injury, as we go higher up, there can be injury to the dura matter. If there is injury to the dura matter, the CSF starts leaking into the nose. Okay, there can be injury to the brain if the dura is breached. So, uh, we have to plan our surgery very well, especially nowadays navigation systems are in use. So, many of these complications can be prevented itself if we are using such advanced systems. And uh, other complications can be uh, delayed complications like there can be recurrence. Many of the surgeons uh, try to operate conservatively to avoid this, these complications which are grave. So the sinuses are not cleared completely. Hence these patients tend to have recurrence of the disease. And as uh, uh, we go ahead for uh, patients with recurrence, the surgeries become difficult. Revision surgeries are known to have more complications. And uh, other than these basic complications intraoperatively, postoperatively there can be retroorbital hemorrhage like uh, blood getting collected into the orbit. So a patient can have a hard eyeball protruding out and these need to be addressed immediately. We need to uh, decompress the orbit to relieve the tension otherwise the patient can have vision loss in the post-op period also. Okay. So, this is very important and uh, the surgeon should be skilled enough to handle such complications even in the post-op period. Okay, thank you so much Dr. Yeah. Karthik.